Welcome back to the Tech Fighter channel. What do we have in store for you guys today? We got the Battle of the Big Boys. And by the big boys, I'm talking about big time heavy duty protection for your Galaxy S8 Plus. Now we have one of the biggest names in the game, the OtterBox Defender versus Pelican, no slouch in the Voyager. Now, I don't like to spend time with uh, dumb boxes, so those go off to the side, and we're gonna look at the cases. Let's just do a quick look at the holsters. Let me just tell you guys right off the bat, they're both good holsters. They do not come off your belt. They both have stands that are adjustable for the angle. They just set up a little bit differently, but they're both good stands. There you go, you can be watching your videos, you know, while you're having lunch or whatever. They both work pretty much the same way. They're both solid, they both felt like they wouldn't come off my belt and the case wouldn't come out of the holsters. So those, we won't spend too much time on them. Some of you guys don't even use these, I know. Now some of you guys might be thinking, oh, why would you put such an ugly case on your phone? Well. Sometimes we need heavy duty protection. That's why I'm wearing my lumberjack shirt because sometimes you're gonna be working out in you know, construction or other, other settings that you're gonna need extra protection. But you, know, you don't have to keep the phones in these cases. You can always just switch them to a different case when you get home from work, which is what I do. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Let's look at these cases. But since this is a competition video, let me not forget that we're doing a giveaway and the winner this time around is Big Time Polecat. That's his name, his YouTube username. Big Time Polecat wins a case for his phone, which is a G6. He wins the Incipio Dual Layer Protection Dual Pro. This won one of my previous competitions. So this goes to him or her. I'll reach out to you. If you don't hear from me in the next couple of days, you can uh, get a hold of me at my email, which is what is it? <laughs> it is techfighterchannel at gmail.com and we'll make arrangements so you can get this case. Uh, so subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to be giving away some S8 stuff here in the next few videos as well. So let's move on. Okay, let's take this off. This TPU case comes off really easily. That's important for me because I like to swap out cases. You just follow these little arrows to separate the two pieces of the of the rigid plastic okay there's a nice little soft back to protect the back of your phone and then you just line these up just the way you took them off there you go and listen for those uh, clicks again did I put it backwards let me I think I did that. There we go. So you'll hear the clicks. As you're putting both sides together. So make sure you got everything in there. There we go. So once you have both sides connected, you just slap it into your TPU case and there's some grooves on the hard plastic that the TPU fits into. You know, this is basically just like any other Defender case out there that you've tried in the past. Works the same way. Once it's all in there, I think this is the probably the hardest piece to, to fit. There we go. And then uh, these port covers, just make sure they sit in really nice. And there you go. It's on, ready to use. The feel in the hand is really good compared to previous Defender cases. This doesn't feel as big and bulky. Still ugly, but not big and bulky. It's fairly trim. The buttons are really responsive. As you can see, it turns it on and off without a problem. Double button press, brings up the camera. The volume works nice. 
the Bixby button is just as responsive as the volume buttons. The cutouts, really comfortable fingerprint uh, access here on the back. You see how there's like a more of a beveled edge on the right than there is on the left. So you can slide your finger right into position there. This is a really nice cutout on the back and offers nice protection to the camera. The openings are great for everything and protected on the bottom. That's an extra plus. Keeps the, from the, the dust from getting in there. Really, this is a nice grip. This is really a good case. It's hard for me to find something wrong with it other than it's not that attractive, you know? Um, if I'm gonna be really OCD, I wanna point out how this top TPU, right here in this section where it has the opening for this, doesn't sit as well as it does in the rest of it. You see how there's a little bit more of a gap here than this? I don't really like that. That does get on my nerves a bit, gotta admit but it's not a huge deal. It's more cosmetic than anything, okay? Even if I try to press it in there, it still is not, doesn't look right, in my opinion. On the bottom, there's this line too that isn't completely straight because of these flaps. There's kind of like a couple of bumps. In my opinion, it should look like this, nice and straight, but that's minor. I like the usability because the raised edges are nice and high on the bottom and the top, so you can put the phone down without worrying that you're gonna do any damage to the uh, screen. But there's enough protection on the edges, but not too much protection on the edges. The reason I say that is because, check this out, if I'm gonna access the edge, I can actually start on the edge of the case and open it up without a problem. I, it's easy to access the edges. And that's not something you see that much in a case that is meant to have heavy duty protection. And this does have heavy, heavy duty protection and still allows for that usability. I loved it. Um, it just was really nice to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then of course, when I got home, I didn't wanna use such a heavy case, heavy duty case, so it just came off super easily. And that's a big deal for me. You know, you just separate them came right off. So let's move on to the Voyager. The Voyager comes in with this uh, built-in screen protector that just plopped right out on its own, which I'm glad it did because I was going to take it off anyway. It really is a piece of junk screen protector. I don't recommend you use it because even when you do, there's these openings here and it doesn't sit flush against the screen. So you'll have dust particles get in there in between the screen and the screen protector. And that's just going to cause scratches. I don't really recommend this at all unless you, for some reason, really are worried about that, uh, something hitting the front of the, of the phone on the screen, but it's probably gonna do more damage than good, so take it off. Now, as far as the, the separation of the case, it's not as easy as the Defender is. You have to separate it here with a coin or something and then pull it apart. That seems easy because the phone's not in it. When the phone is in it, it's harder. So let's go ahead and put the phone in there. Now, it's got a nice clear back for those of you who want to show off the color of your phone. Okay, it's all in there. Now, what I don't like about that is that you can see a bunch of fingerprints. I think that looks nasty. But, you know, if you like the clear back and, you know, you can be wiping it down, you could do that. The opening is nice and generous. So there's plenty of uh, opening there for the fingerprint scanner. It's not as nice as the one on the Defender, but it works. The openings are good on the bottom and on the top. The buttons are just as responsive as the Defender. They worked, okay? Uh, the volume button also. You double click on the power. You see that it goes through the camera. Works really well. The volume was nice. However, it, the raised edges were just too high. The bottom and the top were good but the edges on the sides were too high. So what I could do on the Defender, I could not do with the Voyager. Check this out. I could not access it, the edge. I actually had to dig in there to be able to access it. And it seems like not a big deal, but on a day-to-day -day usage pattern, it is. So it has more protection, but it is not that great as far as the being able to use the screen. So if you want more protection, go with this. If you want to use the edge a little bit more, use the Defender. 
When it came down to it, check this out, it's gonna be really hard to take off. And as I had mentioned to you guys before, that's a big deal for me. Look at that, I actually have to work really hard to pull it open and I almost feel like I'm gonna break it. And I didn't like that. Look at that. Look at the stress, there. boom, it finally comes out. So, since it does all of that, I didn't really feel comfortable taking it out of the case. So, I'm gonna declare a winner. The winner is the Defender. I will go with the Defender because the Defender just has a really good fit. It's really easy to use. It comes off and on really easily as well. It's just really the better case this time around. So if you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, feel free to let me know. Remember, I'm gonna be having a giveaway in my next video. I'm gonna be talking about these cases, which you might like. So I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner. It's set robot in a circle. Click it and you will qualify for the next giveaway. Thanks for your attention, guys. Hasta la vista.